Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to Commute Talk. It is Friday now, so uh, we're running out of week. But uh, today, Max writes in asking about how do I choose which software to port to Serenity and what stuff to re implement instead? And uh, that's a good question, Max. Because just because this is uh, clear in my head how it works, it doesn't mean that everyone else understands how I'm thinking about it. So, basically, um, my thinking is that the Serenity base system should stand on its own legs and um, you should be able to build Serenity and run it and have no third party code and no third party dependencies <clears throat> once you're inside the system. Um, and it doesn't mean that, that we will have everything in there. It just means that the system should be able to, you know, get up on its legs and, and stand. And you should be able to do text editing and um, networking, stuff like that. Uh, basic desktop stuff, sort of like, um, like you would install Windows 95, you know? And you would have calculators and text editors and and uh, this and that, but you wouldn't have developer tools um, and a compiler and stuff like that. So, because I think in, in Serenity, it's unlikely that, that we'll start building a compiler anytime soon. Um, and I don't mind using an outside compiler. I'm happy about it, because um, that's just not my particular interest domain, at least not at the moment. <laughs> Um, but I don't want to have third-party dependencies in the base system. <clears throat> so that's the first part. And then um, when it comes to like deciding between porting or re-implementing, uh, I tend to think that languages are better to port because it's just more practical that way. Um, something like Make, for instance, it would be a lot of work to get Make a Make clone uh, to a place where it could flawlessly run um, like GNU Make files and standard Make files <coughs> and all of these things just to build other packages. And that's not really something that I want to go off and work on at the moment. Maybe in the future, who knows. Uh, but make being a language, I think that it just makes sense to <clears throat> to port a working implementation of that language. And same goes for like Bash or Python or, or PHP or whatever, right? Um, so languages, just because if you're building a language, then you want stuff written in that language to work. And maybe we'll, we'll implement some language eventually. Uh, but <clears throat> it would just be putting up a huge roadblock in front of other ports, I guess. Because, like, if we provide our own make and then 99% <clears throat> of the ports don't build anymore because their make files don't work with our make. And, uh, we'll see how that one pans out. Maybe we'll write a make in the future. Maybe we'll, we'll do a compiler. I don't know. But uh, that's, that's sort of that. Um, now there's of course there's an exception or not an exception but there's a situation <laughs> with uh, with the C library at the moment that there are some functions in the C library that are borrowed from outside BSD sources so like I think I uh, copy them from NetBSD there's like three or four of them like getopt scanf um, qsort something else um, and there are bugs open about replacing these with homegrown versions. It's just that the way that these um, <clears throat> got into the tree was that I was doing these all-nighter uh, sessions trying to port something like trying to port Bash, for instance. And the way that that process worked was that I would try to compile Bash, and then it would go a little bit of the way and then say, oh, you're going to need these three uh, functions in the C library. And then I would implement those three functions and then try to build Bash again. I would get a little farther, further, uh, and um, now I would complain about two new functions. And I have to implement those, and uh, some of the steps that I got 
paused on there, I just um, decided to, I'm just gonna grab this one from a NetBSD or FreeBSD or whatever, and um, so that I'm able to make progress on Bash instead, because like I feel like I'm getting close to being able to build it. And then um, once they had snuck into the tree, uh, I got kind of lazy and <laughs> I just opened a bug about re-implementing them, and I didn't didn't get around to it yet. So it's like it's this thing that I'm keeping in mind if if we ever do a release that I don't want to release it with third-party sources and oh yeah and there's also um, there's a single source file implementation of uh, zlib um, decompression um, which would also be nice to replace because yeah so it is my thinking that the base system should work without any third-party dependencies once you've compiled it right and then people can just add on whatever they like <clears throat> through ports. And then uh, it would also, we're also probably going to need, um, if we're being practical, we're going to need a way to have our own stuff that has third party dependencies, but those things should not be part of the base system. Um, so anything that you would want to build as part of Serenity that's gonna have a third-party dependency can still be a Serenity application, but it needs to go in like an optional directory or something like that. Um, optional add-on, I don't know what we would call it, but um, yeah, that's, that's how I think that should work. Um, and I guess I should mention Doom also, because uh, it's kind of obvious that you would port Doom, not re-implement it. I mean, you could re-implement Doom, like we have all the data files and we know the formats and we could build our own Doom, but it, that's just not what you want to do though. <laughs> so you want to play Doom, um, like the original Doom or ported Doom. So I think if something has like, um, like sentimental value, like Doom does, or if it's like it's more about the, um, the thing itself than the, than the functionality it implements, then it makes sense to do a port. Um, I guess the same goes for, for many uh, games. And I don't know. It's a little, it's a little uh, foggy, you know? <clears throat> I haven't got everything figured out, but what do you think about this? Like, do you think uh, what I'm saying makes sense? Uh, I, I'm personally not a fan of uh, Linux distributions. I mean, I, <clears throat> I've talked about this a whole bunch lately, but I, I really don't like the, um, the way that they put together distributions from a thousand packages. I think it's, uh, it's not for me to build things that way. I want everything to be part of a cohesive unit and everything to build together and move together and be developed together um, so that we know that everything fits and we know what everything is for and there's nothing there that that it's not supposed to be there yeah I guess those are my thoughts about that um, and yeah, it's, it'll be interesting to see what else we implement. Because one thing that people often ask me about is browsers. And <clears throat> if, if we're going to port a browser to Serenity or build our own or whatever. And I, I don't mind either one, really. Like, it seems very likely that we will probably have a browser port running before we would have our own browser running. But I'm certainly not against writing our own browser. Uh, it's just not something that makes me excited right now, and it's not I, like I try to. I've tried to start working on um, HTML rendering widget just for having simple, rich text backed by HTML uh, as a widget, and it's just when I work on that, like my motivation just disappears from me. It's weird, but I'm just a little bit burned out on web stuff. I think. But knowing myself, it's going to come back eventually. Uh, so these things just go in waves. And 
when that wave comes for me, then I'll see where it takes me. Um, but in the meantime, I certainly don't mind doing a port of a browser. Um, we have bugs open about um, we have a bug open about porting NetSurf. Probably port Dillo, something like that. Like just some simple SDL browser would be a, a, an interesting first step because we have links ported already. I did that one, but it's text only, and I guess it would be fun to do a graphical one. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Um, I don't know. I hope I hope that answers the question. I guess. <laughs> Uh, thanks for sending it. Um, if anyone else has any questions, then feel free to submit them below, and I'll happily talk about anything, I think, as long as it's uh, proper. So, other than that, I'm just going to say thanks for hanging out with me on the commute, and I'll see you next time. Bye.